So cortisol, we know about it. Um, high or low could be could easily affect the adrenals. High levels of cortisol, you can still dump minerals, right? Um, because you're buffering it for the stress. Low cortisol, you may not have enough um, aldosterone function because the same area of the adrenals, right? The glomerular, uh, the the cortex of the adrenals, right? That is the same area where aldosterone is made. All right, it's right there. So if you have weaker cortisol area, there could be weaker aldosterone. So it's good to know that on the testing. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that poo-poo this now and they say, oh, adrenal fatigue's fake. Adrenal fatigue is a myth, that kind of thing. We're not saying, we're not, we don't even use fatigue anymore. It just doesn't right? make sense. Because dysfunction is a better terminology. Yeah. Because that kind of insinuates that the adrenals are tired, and that's not true. It's really more of a brain issue that's kind of down-regulating yep. this process. It's kind of like you've been running from a bear for so long, and you're starting to eat away all your muscle tissue because cortisol is catabolic. It's breaking down the gut barrier, which is why we see so many gut issues and like CrossFit athletes and stuff like that. It's breaking the body down. So eventually, the brain has to come in and say, hey – we've really got to kind of downregulate this guy's system. He's really been running from the bear. She's really been running from the bear for so long. So, so to those people like mad at us right now, adrenal fatigue is a myth. Oh my God, how dare you guys? You're charlatans or whatever people say. No, uh, it, it's not fatigue. It, it's dysfunction. And yep. you have to support the brain and you got to support the gut. I mean, the whole system, rarely do we come in and this is just a quote, adrenal protocol. It's going to be a whole program designed to fix the issues that are stressing the whole system in the first place. Yeah. So I always tell people when you're working with the practitioner, right, you always want to talk about certain things that are going to be used as a palliative way to kind of get you feeling better and to jumpstart physiological and biochemical pathways. And other things are going to be root cause. And a lot of times they work together, right? So if I work and support your mineral levels, right, supplementally, if I work on supporting your adrenals, while we get your sleep better, while we change your food, while we look at infections, while we um, help with digestion and, and, and good diet and lifestyle strategies, that's what promotes the healing overall. It's kind of like if you if you go and you have to jumpstart your car, right? Well, why the heck are you jumpstarting the car? Well, because I, I didn't turn the light on in the car, right? Well, okay, so the root cause is we're going to make sure that light's turned on moving forward. But if we always leave the light on, then you jumpstart in the car is a palliative issue, right? It's not a root cause issue. So we're always doing palliative things in together with root cause things. We always combine the two because a lot of times that's what pulls people out of it faster. If you just focus on root cause stuff, it takes a lot longer to feel better. And people need to feel better fast to be compliant and good patients. Yeah. yeah.